Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get to know me tag because I realized that I've posted like four videos or five videos and I haven't even introduced myself. So I found this little tag um, and I'm going to answer the questions so you can get to know a little bit more about me. So if you'd like to get to know me a little bit better, please keep watching. Where did you grow up? George West, Texas. It's like a little tiny fishbowl of a town in super south Texas. Where do you currently live? I live in the San Antonio area here in Texas. How tall are you? I am 5'2". Dogs or cats? I love both, but right now I have two dogs. So I guess dogs. Funniest moment throughout high school? High school was just like a big embarrassing moment. That's another video. What year were you born? 1993. Where are my 90s babies at? Are you in slash have you gone to college? I'm currently attending Texas State University. What's your favorite drink? Coffee. What sports do you play or have you played? So funny story, whenever I was really, really little, my godmother tried putting me in like all different types of sports, like uh, softball, baseball, t-ball, basketball, cheer, dance, and I quit every single thing because I don't like playing sports. And which brings me to my next point. In high school, I tried out for several teams that I did not make because <laughs> I am not coordinated. Have any books you read changed your life? So, off the top of my head, a You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. You've probably heard of that book. That is an amazing like self-help, love yourself, good feely book. I love self-help books. Um, another one would be The Five People You Meet in Heaven. I'll post the author right here because I can't think of the name right now, but that is a beautiful book. What is your favorite movie? It is between Selena and Jurassic Park. Do you speak any languages and how well? I know English, obviously. I know some Spanish. I can't speak it that well, but I can definitely understand most of it. Are you single or taken? Taken. What's your go-to hairstyle? Probably side braid or pony because this shit's thick and it's heavy. What are your morning slash evening routines? Well, I definitely have skincare routines for both morning and night. And in the morning, I like to make gratitude lists if I have time and also read out of meditation books. Um, I have two right here I can show y'all. So, these are both recommended by the YouTuber Peter Mon. If you haven't subscribed to him, go do that because he is amazing. He has like five different channels and they're all fabulous. So, here we go. Uh, the Daily Book of Positive Quotations by Linda Pacone and The Language of Letting Go by Melody Baby. What is the craziest thing you've done? I've done a lot of crazy shit. Describe your first crush. Um, so I told you like I lived in like a little South Texas town and it was very rustic. So this little cowboy like boy named Cody Oxford if you're watching lol. Who is your childhood best friend? So it's funny because my childhood best friend was also named Amber. Her name's Amber Marie Clay and I like searched her on Facebook I want to say two years ago. Found her, added her, messaged her and I was like hey uh, you probably don't remember me, but we used to be really good friends back in the day. And she didn't respond. But it's fine, because she kept me as a friend, so like maybe she was just like, Oh, you're weird, but I'll keep you, because I feel sorry for you. Do you have any siblings? One brother and one sister. I'm the oldest. Have you been to any concerts or festivals? So, I've, been, I've seen Beyonce with my best friend, I think two or three times. The Lemonade tour, we were VIP and it was amazing. Beyonce like splashed water on us from the stage. We were baptized, we were born again. Amazing experience. We also went and saw Lady Gaga. 
And whenever I was like really like in high school and stuff, I saw this guy named Christopher Drew who played um, for a group called Never Shout Never. I saw them at this venue called The White Rabbit, which is no longer there. And I went to Warp Tour a couple of times um, in my high school years. I believe they quit, but they're going to do like a reunion or something like that. But anyway, so in next year, I want to go to an EDC festival called Ultra in Miami. I got a couple of more questions from my Instagram. So my favorite active wear. I don't have a favorite, but I wear Gymshark a lot. But I'm trying to like get into other brands because like for a while I was like on this Gymshark binge and that's the only clothing brand that I bought for athletic wear and which is really cool, but you know, want to wear more brands. Favorite fitness Instagram page. I don't have a favorite, but my OG one that I've been following the longest is going to be Nikki Blackgutter. I love that bitch very much. What got you into fitness? So I've actually had a gym membership since 2012. I graduated in 2011, got my first car after I graduated high school. And I got a gym membership as soon as I could. And I haven't been consistently going to the gym until November of 2017 when I was like, okay, I buckled down and I told myself we're making a change today. And I did. What is your ethnicity? I'm a Mexicana. I mean, I'm Hispanic, but. What is your favorite makeup brand slash skincare brand? Again, I love so many brands. If I had to choose from what I own the most, um, the most makeup brand that I own, Morphe or Jeffree Star Cosmetics. For skincare, I want to say that my favorites, because I have a couple I use a lot of different brands for my routines but I do love junk elephant I feel like all of their products are magical all right guys well I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little more so I'm not just some stranger that you're watching on the internet so for a while there I was in school and it was really crazy toward the end especially and it was hard for me to put a video up which is not an excuse I'm getting back on my game. Please be patient with me. Thank you for being patient with me. Um, if you enjoyed today's video and you would like to see more of my future fuckery, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Sweet. I'm fucking awkward. <laughs>